What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today we're going to be doing a comparison video between the iPhone 5S versus the iPhone 6 versus the iPhone 6 Plus. Now in this video we're going to be doing completely performance driven tests. We're not going to be talking about my opinion on practicality, usability, or even screen preference for that matter. So if you guys actually want to see a video with my opinions as well as a complete review of these devices, make sure you let me know by hitting the like button on this video as well as commenting in the comments below. But for this video, we're going to be doing some basic tests. We're going to be doing a boot up test. We're going to check the network speed because they supposedly actually increase the performance of LTE wireless. So we're going to check that out. We're also going to see how well these devices do under graphically demanding games as well as Geekbench testing. So we're going to get those results as well. So the first test that we want to do is do a boot up test because these devices are off right now. So it was actually a little bit hard to get this to work properly because the power button is on the right hand side of these two devices and the top of this one right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my finger right over here on this button and then I'm going to press this up against my thumb and then I'm going to press down on the top of this one all at the same time. So it should actually boot up all at the same time. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. So ready? One, two, three. All right. So we got those all to come on at the same time. And it looked like the 5S actually took a bit longer to get that Apple logo up. But let's go ahead and see which one actually boots up the quickest. All right, so it looks like the iPhone 5S actually booted up the quickest. And it looks like the 6 was next. If I could unlock this and then the 6 plus was last so let's go ahead and unlock these devices so the clear winner there is the iPhone 5s that's going to be the one that's going to boot up the quickest now that's not a huge disadvantage for the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 plus just because how many times are you trying to boot up your device and how often is it really that necessary for it to be a couple seconds faster so the next thing that I want to test is the LTE wireless. Now I only have one SIM card, so this is going to take a little bit of time to switch in and out. But first, let's go ahead and check the LTE wireless on the iPhone 6 Plus. All right, so you can see right here that I'm on LTE. So now we're going to do a speed test right here, and let's see how well it does. All right, so for download, we got 11.73, upload 0.72. So now let's go ahead and check out the iPhone 6, which should be pretty comparable to the iPhone 6 Plus. All right, so you can see that we're on AT&T LTE. So let's go ahead and open this up right here, and let's do a speed test. All right, so we got 11.43 for download and upload 0.63. So very comparable between the two. The iPhone 6 Plus did eke out a win right there, but I would say that it was probably going to be, you're not going to see a huge difference in performance in terms of LTE uh, when you're comparing the iPhone 6 versus the iPhone 6 Plus. So now let's try the iPhone 5S. All right, so we're on LTE, so let's go ahead and launch this, and let's do a speed test. All right, so for the iPhone 5S, we have a download of 9.2, an upload of 0.62, or I'm sorry, 6.3. So this is actually quite a bit lower than the download speeds for the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus. I mean, if we do a comparison between the 6 Plus and the 5S, we're talking about 2.5 megabits per second in download speed. So that's a huge difference. So I would definitely say that the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus did get an upgrade in LTE wireless and you can see the difference right there. So my last comparison video like this, what I did was open up some stock applications just for you guys to see if there was any type of difference in the speed in which these applications opened up. And really there wasn't a huge difference. I mean the most demanding application that you're going to see on your device is going to be your camera application just because it takes a little while to load. So if we go ahead and open that up right here, let's try to tap these all three at the same time. And then what we want to be looking for is which one focuses in first. So we'll go ahead and tap one, two, three. 
and you can see that it's probably the iPhone 6, then the iPhone 6 Plus and 5S kind of came in almost right at the exact same time. So really no difference whatsoever. And you're really not gonna see any type of difference in opening up applications all at the same time, just because, I mean, these devices are top notch and they're not going to be you know, getting any better in terms of opening up applications just because it's really as fast as you can open up an application rather than speeding up the animations. So the next thing that I wanna test is how quickly is it going to load up Infinity Blade 3. Now the reason that I chose this game is because it has a really intense and graphically demanding intro when you first open the game. So I haven't even opened this game on any of these devices yet. So this is gonna take maybe a little while, I don't know. It took a long time on my iPhone 5 but let's see how well it does against the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. All right, so ready? One, two, three. They all load up pretty quick. Let's see if we can get this game center to go away. It should still be loading in the background right here. All right, so it looks like the 6 actually won in terms of which one loaded up the quickest. The 6 Plus came in directly right after that and then the iPhone 5S came in right after that. Now that is actually an incredible uh, pace in which all three of these loaded this up in comparison to my iPhone 5, which took quite some time. But in reality, you're getting great performance from any three of these devices when you're talking about games. Now, last but not least, let's go ahead and check out the Geekbench scores right here. So we're gonna go ahead and open those up and then you can see exactly what the specs are. So for the 5S, we have an Apple A7 running at 1.3 gigahertz and one gig of memory. And then right here for the iPhone 6, we have a 1.39 gigahertz processor with one gig of memory. And then for the iPhone 6 Plus, we have a 1.38 gigahertz running one gig of memory. So let's go ahead and run these and see which one finishes up first as well as check out the score. So ready, let's go one, two, three. All right, so the 6 Plus actually finished up first, and then shortly after we have the iPhone 6, and now we have the iPhone 5S. So you can see the actual single core scores. We have a single core score of 1377 with the iPhone 5S, which would be the lowest. And then we have the iPhone 6 Plus at 1631. And then for the single core score for the iPhone 6, which is actually the fastest and best score is 1638. Now, if we take a look at the multi-core score, again, we're gonna have the exact same order. We have a 2500 for the multi-core score for the iPhone 5S, 2927 for the iPhone 6 Plus, and then for the iPhone 6, we have 29. 35. So I mean, in terms of performance, we're going to have an incredibly close score with the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus, and then that's obviously going to outperform the iPhone 5S as you can see right here. So this was just a quick video to show you guys some of the performance differences between the iPhone 5S versus iPhone 6 versus the iPhone 6 Plus. Be sure to let me know what you guys want to see next. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button as well as subscribe for future videos. All right, guys. Until next time, peace.